All right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, November 4th. Getting ready for the holidays, man. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And you know what that means? A lot of people sitting at home and drinking more than they probably should. But, uh, you know, we drink more than we should year round. So this time of year, we have to work. So you guys have to pick up the slack for us here at the Wine Watch. We're winding things down, but we've got a few great events coming up this month. Champagne tasting the 19th. And then a week from tonight, we've got our vintage port tasting, one of my favorite beverages in the world. I I like a nice 20% alcoholic wine type beverage. And uh, port was created in a Porto, and England was at war with France in the Hundred Years' War, so they had to find another place to get their juice. So they sailed around the coast, they came to a Porto, and they found this beautiful wine here, but unfortunately it didn't make it back on the ship to uh, England very well, so they had to start dumping in neutral spirits to preserve it and this kind of wine is unique it was created like i said because of out of necessity uh, in order to help the wine survive its voyage across the sea to england and uh, also i think uh, well the portuguese government was the ones distilling these spirits and up until 2003 uh, you had to buy your neutral spirits from the Portuguese government. So some advances just recently in the world of port, as of 2003, you're allowed to buy these spirits from anywhere. And the spirit is a very important part of what makes port. So the old ports, you know, a lot of times, even in great vintages, you know, if they put just, you know, the spirit wasn't great, maybe it didn't, you know, really add to the quality of that vintage. But we've got some legendary old vintages here. We always show uh, an array of old vintage ports at this event. This year going back to 1937. For those of you not familiar with port, there's a couple different kind of ports. The best value in port, the ruby port, usually aged for five to six years in these large 100-gallon pipes and blended, a uh, blend of several different vintages, and then released uh, and ready to drink on release. Vintage port, only a tiny percentage of port goes into vintage port. It's usually only declared three, four times a decade at most, and uh, vintage port is very expensive, $100 a bottle on release. Well, you can find older vintages for much cheaper than the current release a lot of times. We've got a killer selection of vintage port on this offer for you and like i said cheaper than the current release which is 09 for taylor flaggate and uh, they were the only people that made 09 07 the last majorly declared vintage and these wines over a hundred dollars a bottle so some incredible values here vintage port is kept in these large pipe for two years and after two years they declare whether the wine is good enough to be bottled as a single vintage port these wines need to be aged an additional 10 20 years well they're trying to say that you know they're making them ready to drink on release now but i still like them 15 20 years after the vintage and then the tawny ports are wines that are aged in wood their whole life and we are going to be serving you one of the rarest tawnies the 1937 quinta de novo colgita colgita means it's all from one single vintage this wine was in cask for 70 years bottled in 2007 so check it out the entire lineup of what we're serving you next week at our vintage port tasting here at the store a little char grilled new york sirloin perfect with the uh, ports i'm your host andrew lampasoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember Always drink the good stuff first.